Mic test, mic test, mic test. What is up, everybody? It's all real here. Welcome to another ADS play uploading schedule. This will not be a long one, by a long shot. Not be a long one, by a long shot. I know it's kind of oxymoronic, but whatever. I'm gonna get to this short and sweet. Um, I'm gonna talk about the games that I've beaten this past week, the games that I'm expecting to play at the end of this week, and the current playthroughs I got going on. So let's get this out of the way. So it was a, it was a situation um, where, first off, I beat. The evil within two. You know, this is gonna be bare bones. I'm not gonna dry your your ears out. Um, the evil within two. I just recently beat that. Um, Middle Earth Shadow of War. Here's the thing. I did quit the game. I quit the game. It wasn't a rage quit. It was more like I was tired of it and I needed to just quit it. There's too many other games out there that you know are more entertaining. And that I need to play than to play some battle scene. Like the game was fine up until the Shadow Wars uh, section, but they just had too many Shadow Wars. And if you're losing, you have to go back. You got to beat all the war chiefs, and then you got to go. You know what I'm saying? It was just too much to do. It was too much work just to get past that part. And then I was reading, seeing how many they had, and some people were saying there was ten. One person even said they had thirty. And that right there, even though I doubt it was 30, it was probably just 10. I was on stage seven. It's like, I, I didn't want to do any more of those just to get the ending. Like that didn't make any sense. So I just like, you know what, man, I got one ending already. I'll just take it for what it is. And I just ended up, you know, just quitting the game. Um, I watched the ending on YouTube. It was just like that section of the game was just so stupid that it, it felt like they were trying to draw out the gameplay hours by doing some type of battle simulation like that was just unnecessary the amount like five stages would have been cool like okay you're gonna capture all four so now you gotta go back and you gotta defend them and then you get to the boss fight but no nah, they just kept going with it just one after another after another it got boring so i just got you know that's the first time i can legitimately say i was bored with the game like literally bored and it's sad because the first game was good it was enjoyable i felt like it was over kind of quick but it was still enjoyable. The Shadow of War was like, yeah, like they fucked it up. They fucked it up and they didn't do a good job. They, should, they really should have left that at five stages and not try to draw it out so damn long, but it is what it is. I, I left Shadow of War alone. I, I, I seen the ending. Um, you know, and it seems like they're not going to be making another one. Like, there's no need. Because the ending was clear, it was over, uh, and with, you know, the ending being the way it was, it's just no need to make another Middle Earth uh, Shadow of Anything game. Like, it's done. Um, but yeah, on to the current playthrough. So, I did buy Assassin's Creed Origins. I am doing the current playthrough of that. I'm still playing South Park. The Fractured But Whole, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, the, the Frozen Wildlands. I already have the DLC bought, but in order for me to access it, I have to play, you know, the game. So I'm going to download, you know, a copy of uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. My data is still on there, so I don't, I haven't lost anything. Um, and I'm going to just jump right into the DLC once I get that. So that's going to be around, I would say, possibly f no later than Friday, I'm going to get to it. Um, so that's that. Let's see. Also, um, I have, you know, the game Blue Reflection, as you see right here. I'm, I will be getting back to that game this week. So, for those of you who've been waiting on more uh, footage from Blue Reflection, I will be getting back to that game this week. So, no problem. Um, a lot of you guys have been complimenting me on the visuals of my videos lately and that's because hey I'm, I'm on the PlayStation Pro you know the the HDR on it damn thing is like phenomenal and I had to get two new HDMI cords that actually can uh, transfer um, uh, the 4k revolution that was, that was wrong. The, the 4K resolution. Excuse me, I said revolution. The 4K resolution. I had to get two uh, HDMI cords in order to be able to get those visuals on my TV. Because I do have a 4K TV, but 
because of the HDMI cords I was using, you know, it, it, it didn't um, transfer from the system into the capture card and into the TV well. So I ended up getting two new um, HDMI cords that worked pretty damn good. Uh, I think the name of the, brand, of the brand is called Black Spider, if, if, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, like they do work pretty well. They're amazing. So there's that. Um, and I'm waiting on the, the next episode from Batman the Evil Within and the last episode of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Are we still on volume one? I don't know, because they take so long to release these <laughs> these episodes. I want to say that it was Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1. That, that's, that's what we're on. But I'm waiting on the last episode of that. So that should be released sometime, I don't know, this month or sometime next month. You know, I'm pretty sure they want to get that over with before the end of the month. Uh, or rather, the end of this year. So I'm looking forward to that completely. Um... Now, games that I have, uh, gameplays that I do have coming up, or games that I plan on playing. Um, Wolfenstein 2, Sonic Forces, and it was something else. Yeah, I can't think about it right now, but I don't want to spend forever in a day um, thinking about it. But, yeah, Wolfenstein 2, Sonic Forces, and it was another game. I want to say... It was Horizon Zero Dawn, The Frozen Wilds, but I already spoke about that. Wolfenstein 2, I'm kind of iffy on whether or not I want to do a playthrough of it because I never played any of the Wolfenstein games prior. So I wouldn't even be, you know, familiar with any of that. If, if, if you hear any of that, let me turn this down. I hate when I'm doing videos and my phone goes off. It happens though, but but yeah, um, Wolfenstein 2, I don't think I'm going to do a playthrough of it, only because I I haven't played any Wolfenstein game prior, so it, it hasn't really grabbed my interest. Now, Sonic Forces, that's another one that I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say I'm going to skip it, but I may end up playing it, you know, around the same time I get Horizon Zero Dawn, The Frozen Wild, well, I start playing Horizon Zero Dawn Frozen Wilds because I already have it. I just got to buy Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, for whatever reason, when I when I bought it, I thought it was going to be like a standalone DLC, and it wasn't. So, yeah. So, but yeah, that's um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I do plan on playing Mario Odyssey because I do plan on getting a Nintendo Switch in order to play that. I started. I wanted. I was debating on whether or not I should get Odyssey, uh, a Nintendo Switch or an Xbox One X, but then I had to remind myself that you know a lot of the games that's going to be coming out for Xbox One are going to be coming out for the PlayStation Four, so it's kind of like no need for me to rush and get an Xbox One right away, you know. So at least with the Nintendo Switch, though fewer games will be coming out for that system in comparison to the Xbox One and the PS4 you're going to get something that you're not going to get on either of those systems on that system. You know, so Nintendo Switch has more exclusives. So that's pretty much how I'm thinking about that. So, yeah, the plan to the hardware upgrade plan, which I'm calling it now, originally was called the two week plan, but it's going to take longer than two weeks. Um, I am upgrading all my hardware, but the laptop is next before I get that switch. This laptop has, has to be the next thing I get. Uh, like the new laptop, the, the gaming laptop that can handle the, the programs and everything I'm trying to trying to run and live stream from, all that. Like I need to get a new laptop in order to make that happen. So that's going to be the next thing I buy. And I should be able to get that, I would say, mid-December. So be, be looking out for that, that unboxing video. So that's everything, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm kind of hyped right now because they just announced Noctis from Final Fantasy, what, what, what was it, 17? I want to believe we're on 17. Oh, oh, that was like the last Final Fantasy game that came out. But yeah, Noctis from Final Fantasy, I, I want to say 17. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. 
But yeah, Final Fantasy 17 Noctis, the main character from that game, he was announced for Tekken 7. And that's like a random, you know, thing. I don't know when he's going to be released, but you guys know that we got Geese Howard from the King of Fighters series. Um, actually, f from the... Uh, um, uh, f f from the Fatal Fury games, but you know he's more recognizable in the King of Fighters because they haven't made a Fatal Fury game in so damn long. Uh, plus, that's just a mix-up of all their game of SNK's all, all games. But whatever, Geese Howard, he's being released this December, if I'm not mistaken, or sometime around the end of November or sometime in December. So that's hype, and I think and think Tekken Seven is getting Geese Howard. And then we're getting Noctis after that. And then they announced the Ninja Turtles with Enchantress and Adam. They announced the Ninja Turtles for Injustice 2 as DLC characters. And that's like the last three for the DLC pack. Uh, for, for their third DLC pack. You know, I, I think Enchantress was a dead giveaway. She looks like she's going to play like, well, you know, Mortal Kombat and Injustice. You know, those games were made by the same game developer. Uh, that was Nether Realm Studios. So a lot of the characters in Injustice 2 are going to have similarities to the characters in Mortal Kombat. So I think Enchantress, like she's going to play pretty much like Ermac. I think that's kind of like a giveaway that she's going to pretty much play, play similar, similar to Ermac in Mortal Kombat. Adam, there hasn't really been any shape shifting in terms of like size difference um, characters in Mortal Kombat. So Adam's gonna be a unique specimen but here's the thing about the Ninja Turtles when they announced it they put all four characters in there and one of the Ninja Turtles had an essay that we fight as one so I don't know if it's gonna be like you can pick one Ninja Turtle out of um out of four like on the character select screen like they're gonna have one Ninja Turtle and then you can like switch between them and pick a different character or maybe their trait is going to be to like switch between the turtles like that and you can fight as a different turtle depending on your trait <clears throat> i don't know or maybe you're going to be playing as one turtle and the other turtles are going to come out as like helpers i don't know but it's going to be interesting considering that they put all four in like the screenshot of the new, of the new dlc characters <laughs> So I'm just like, man, like that's kind of weird, but I'll take it for what it is, though. So, yeah, that's everything, man. Thank you guys for watching. Peace, and I will see you guys later.